Cargo ships are classified into various types based on purpose, size, type of cargo etc. Thus the accommodation design will also depend upon those factors. Accommodation of a ship is the living space where cabins for ship's crew are located along with galley, provision stores and refrigerations, mess rooms, recreational rooms, gymnasium etc. Back to my channel today in this episode, I would like to talk about inspection of accommodation, recreational facilities, provisions, and drinking water on board. Well, to start with, guys, uh, let me tell you that as per MLC, which stands for Maritime Labor Convention, uh, master has to carry out inspection of accommodation, recreational facilities. Uh, uh, provisions, drinking water, at interval not more than 7 days. So, as basically, uh, master is bounded by the uh, Maritime Labor Convention to make sure that he inspect the cabin, accommodation spaces, uh, at intervals not more than uh, 7 days. Uh, well guys, during this inspection, uh, he checks that uh, the cabins and the other spaces in the accommodation are being uh, kept clean and in hygienic condition. And all the requirements of seafarer uh, accommodation and recreational facilities are being followed. So, well, guys, it is the duty of ship owner and uh, master to uh, ensure that uh, the vessel is being uh, provided with uh, food and drinking water of uh, appropriate uh, quality, nutritional value, and quantity. So, generally, uh, I checked the galley department uh, during this uh, inspection. Generally, I verified that uh, uh, Buki is making uh, the meals in a very hygienic condition uh, and the uh, same thing is being served by the steward uh, accordingly. So, guys, uh, uh, also uh, I make sure that uh, food are of adequate uh, uh, quantity and uh, uh, have a nutritional value. Guys, also I make sure during this inspection that uh, drinking water on board is of uh, good quality and uh, my inspection also includes uh, inspecting the provision store, freeze room and generally uh, during inspection I make sure that uh, uh, these stores are being in hygienic condition, goods are being properly uh, kept and uh, the required temperatures are being maintained. Well guys, I will not waste uh, much of your time and with this video, I will show you the glimpse of uh, accommodation inspection being carried out by me. The captain of the ship always has the right to search any space on his ship. He is legally responsible for making sure that the ship complies with international flag state and port state laws as well as those of the shipping company. He has to be able to verify that there are no stowaways, contraband such as weapons, drug, alcohol, tobacco, pornography, etc. on board. Proper accommodation design and appropriate ambient environment enhance the safety, productivity, morale and overall well-being of the crew. The laundry room must be inspected for working order. The washing machine separate for civil clothes and boiler suits. Adequate supply of detergent. The dryer's maintenance must all be given a thorough check. A non-functional laundry room causes a lot of discomfort and results in unhygienic environment. And also, it's a safety hazard on board. The accommodation area is supported by water supply, sewage system, air condition system, fire safety, etc. A detained vessel is a loss of business time as well as reputation. Word spreads quickly and vessels that don't match up to general standards of living are automatically deemed to get flack for their incompetence. Therefore, those Sunday inspection must be carried out with due diligence, ensuring that a respectable level of health and hygiene is maintained. It is very important to inspect hydraulic room on tankers regularly to make sure that there is no leakages 
from any hydraulic operated valves, pumps, etc. as it compromises the safety on board. The lighting of accommodation spaces should be checked. Adequate natural light as well as artificial lightings are to be judged by the master for compliance. Any broken non-functional lights must be replaced at the earliest. Crew locker should be checked regularly to make sure that it is kept clean and tidy as sometimes it has been observed that some tools, lubricants or rags are also kept in the lockers which is not a safe practice on board. Ship carrying more than 15 people must have a dedicated hospital with basic amenities and equipment which also needs regular inspection. Checks should be made to ensure that separate set of linen, bedding, clothes, etc. for patients are provided in the hospital. Medical chest provided in the hospital must also be inspected for presence of required medicine and expiry date. Medicine chest lock to be inspected for date of disposal and new addition of medicines. All cabins should be checked for running hot and cold water in the washrooms. Basically, the crew accommodation must be kept clean altogether. Regular brooming and cleaning will reduce the unwanted long process on a Sunday and save everyone the hassle. Any marks on the bulkhead should be cleaned with the solution supplied by the steamer. Fire doors are fitted in fire retardant bulkhead to provide access from the same. They are self-closing type doors with no hold back arrangement and should be regularly checked to ensure that they are closing and sealing properly the respective compartment or the passage etc. Okay, this is the body so very important during accommodation inspection to ensure that safety posters and other important instructions are well posted and updated regularly. And from time to time same should be verified with group if they have read and understood. Smoking areas must be provided with covered ashtrays, open ashtrays tend to spill leaving room for a probable disaster. On many vessels, the mess room area is where the crew spends much of their free time whether they are enjoying a meal or socializing. However, it is very important to keep this area as safe and clean as possible. Hence, mess room area should be mopped regularly. The packaged food items inside the freeze cabinet and the table should be regularly checked for expiry and replenished as required. The buffet table should be diligently operated by the concerned person. And the plants on board should also be well taken care. The galley is one of the most critical compartments on board providing to crew members with required food and beverages. Maintaining the proper quantity and a high quality of food and beverage is of high importance for the crew members considering that both their performance at work and health depend upon. Galleys are subject to MLC inspections, therefore they must be kept in such a condition so that foodborne diseases can be kept at bay, which can put vessel and crew in danger. Any food spoilage or contaminated food can cause food poisoning, therefore it is vital for galley to follow proper hygiene in order to maintain food of high quality.
even if the loaded provision is safe, this does not ensure that it will remain safe during the storage, preparation, cooking and serving activities that follow on board. In order to address the issues related with foods, the sum checks form a best practice guide like there should be written policies for provision, storage and preparation. A food safety plan is a good solution. Detailed personal hygiene rules must be followed. Posters and instructions always provide adequate guidance. The storage compartments should be clean, free of paste or insects with required storage temperature. Daily personnel to be trained and focused on rules. Fires relating to overloading and due to damage and defective appliances and fittings are some of the common causes of fire on board. During inspection, it is also verified that electrical sockets are not overloaded. Plugging too many electrical appliances into one socket can lead to overheating and can eventually lead to fire. Crew must always be vigilant and check regularly for signs of dangerous or loose wiring such as hot plugs and sockets which indicates something is wrong. Safety manual and fire training manual should also be verified during accommodation inspection. During cabin inspection of the crew, it is very important to check cabins for running hot and cold water in the washrooms. The accepted temperature for hot water designated by the MLC must be maintained. Sour heads, curtains, knobs, etc. must be checked and replaced if damaged. Also, it should be ensured that there is no any unauthorized modification in the cabin portholes and they are kept neat and clean to certain acceptable level. But believe me, many of the times some crew cabins are found in haphazard condition and as a master, you need to be firm to ensure that it is being kept clean. During my accommodation inspection, I also check for contraband drugs in the cabins. It is my responsibility to ensure that the company's drug and alcohol policies is strictly complied at all times. Due to the hierarchy of ranks and responsibility, the biggest cabin on board is of captain. Here is a look at my cabin. Chief engineer cabin on board is the mirror image of captain's cabin. Okay, 
A clean and well-organized wheelhouse is essential for safe vessel operation. During my weekly inspection, I make sure that the navigation locker and electrical like locker are also inspected. If you can tell the electrician to change this valve. This is the unit for cleaning. Hygiene is an essential component of wheelhouse safety. Wheelhouse cleaning schedule should be strictly followed where the crew disinfects and sanitizes all the knobs, handles, chairs, phone to prevent this. The electrical cables and sockets are checked to ensure that they are not overloaded. During the inspection, we noted some minor findings, but nothing too serious. This weekly inspection on board is a constant reminder to the crew regarding the regulations and making sure that they comply. Proper housekeeping and safe ship working practice ensure a comfortable environment and are critical for staying safe on the open water. Following diligently, health and safety guidelines can keep ships functioning at an optimum level.